At the far end of this bridge is Venezuela. You can tell because most of the people crossing are taking their shopping that way. Until recently, the reverse was true. Venezuela, with its weak economy and weaker currency, was a paradise for smugglers. They could buy cheap goods here and sell them for a huge profit in Colombia. But now Venezuela's economy has declined so much, there's almost nothing left to buy. So those Venezuelans that can afford it head across the frontier to this Colombian border town to stock up. We are taking flour, toilet paper, deodorant, cream, soap. We are practically taking everything because we don't have any of this in Venezuela. Shops have set up specializing in many of the specific goods that Venezuelans need. No small Colombian town would otherwise be selling toilet paper in these quantities. There is one twist. The border between Venezuela and Colombia is supposed to be closed, part of a state of emergency ordered by Venezuela's President Maduro last year to clamp down on smuggling. But the reality here proves that point, that where there's an economic incentive, people will always find a way. And one update, in the last few days, the price of the Bolivar, the local currency here on the black market, has devalued quite sharply. That will be a disincentive for Venezuelans thinking of crossing the border. But against that, of course, the shortages here do continue. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Caracas.